If you or your GP suspect that you may have asthma, they will start off by making sure they've got an accurate history of your symptoms, your lifestyle, any past medical history, and also family history to, to see if asthma is a possibility. To help with diagnosing asthma, it's important to do some tests to find out exactly how well your lungs are working and to be able to identify whether they're inflamed, which is a key aspect of asthma. One of the tests you'll be asked to do is to blow into a peak flow meter. This is a child's version. It's very difficult to diagnose asthma in children, but once they're about five to six years of age, they may be able to blow into one of these. Blowing into one of these will give us a reading of how fast you can blow your air out. You may be asked to take this home with you and to record peak flow readings over several times a day to get a variation and that will help the doctor actually diagnose whether you've got asthma or not. You'll also be asked to do a spirometry test. This measures lung function, how much your lungs actually can hold and how quick you can blow your air out. Now this takes a little bit more time and you would have to attend the surgery to have this done. You may be at the surgery between 20 minutes and an hour, depending on the test. You'll be asked to blow into this spirometer. After the test, you will have four puffs of a blue reliever inhaler through the spacer. And after 20 minutes, you'll be expected to do the test again. And these results will show us, compared with your age and your height, whether they are normal or less than predicted. It's important to remember that you may have to do these tests several times to ensure that we get an accurate diagnosis. Asthma can vary day to day, week to week, month to month. So you may get an abnormal test one day and it may be normal another. Even if all the results from the test come back as normal, it doesn't exclude asthma. And your GP may decide to put you on a trial of treatment, which you would have to take for about six, eight weeks and see if all your symptoms got better.